All right. So the next thing that we're going to look at for our pig drawing, that should be out in front of you so you can look at it, is which way is your pig facing? Okay. So when you're looking at your drawing in front of you, okay, you're looking at your left. So for me, that would be this side. For you, it would be this side of the paper. If your pig is facing this side of the paper, the left, that tells me that you are friendly, outgoing, and really uh, great at remembering important dates and birthdays. You have like a really good memory for remembering friends' birthdays. Um, you're nice to everybody that you meet. You're outgoing. You're like the pleasant person to be around. Okay, so that's if your pig is facing to the left, or sorry, left, which is the side of your paper. Um, then if your pig is facing to the right side of your paper, this means that you are creative and you love physical activity. So it may be you really like to draw, you like making things, um, you like being involved in sports or, you know, physical activities, things like that. That's your kind of thing. All right. And if your pig is facing forward so when you look at your paper your pig is looking like directly back at you so facing forward straight forward this is somebody uh, that is very direct and straightforward you enjoy having discussions and debates um, some people might call this being stubborn you think that you're right most of the time and you don't like to give in so uh, yeah pretty stubborn I'll just tell you that's the way my pig faces so you know so let's take a look now at what you are going to write about and tell me about uh, with this section. All right, so we're going to go back to that same doc that we started before, where you told me about where your pig was on the page. Now you're going to tell me which way your pig was facing. Okay, so my pig was facing, I'm going to speak personally for mine. So my pig was facing forward. You're going to tell me if yours was left, right, forward. Um, my pig was facing forward. Uh, this means well, that I am a very straightforward person and I enjoy having debates. Okay. Um, I agree with this statement because I do like to debate. Debate means have a discussion with people where you share your opinions. It doesn't mean argue. Okay, so there's a difference between debate and argue. I don't like to argue, but I like to debate. There is a difference. Okay, so I do like to debate people. And I am not afraid to share my opinion. Okay. Um, so then you would tell me, what's an example that might fit with that? So if I was writing that my pig was facing to the right, and I said that my pig, um, that shows that I enjoy physical activity, and I like being creative, Maybe you say, I agree with this statement because I really like to be physical. I'm involved in a bunch of sports. And then you can say an example is um, I'm on the football team or I'm in cross country or I play baseball or softball or volleyball or whatever it might be. Okay. Or if your pig is facing to the, the left and you tell me that you're very creative and outgoing, maybe you tell me, uh, or friendly and outgoing, excuse me. Um, you tell me some of the things that you do. Like maybe you have a birthday chart. You remember everybody's birthdays. Remember, maybe you just have lots of friends, uh, whatever it might be. Okay. So for mine, I'm going to say I agree with this statement because I, I like to debate people and I'm not fair to share my opinion. Well, I do this every day as part of my job as a teacher. Okay. Maybe your um, 
your example would be like, you know, in class when we have class dis discussions in social studies or things like that, I like to debate the topics of what's happening. Or I like to talk about um, political events with my parents, or I like to talk about the news, or I like to um, debate my friends on, you know, uh, what the best band is, or that everybody should love K-pop. <laughs> 